Passengers on board Australian registered cruise liner Queen Elizabeth docked at Rabald Port on Sunday last week but were refused entry into the province following quarantine warnings from the East Britain Provincial Health Authority of a coronavirus threat. However, none of the passengers were in mainland China for the past 14 days or even having an infectious disease. Health and HIV and AIDS Minister Jelta Wong says the only restrictions in place are for those people entering PNG that have been in mainland China. These people must be quarantined in a country outside of mainland China for 14 days before even entering PNG borders. Uh, with the evidence that we have, the tourist vessels were no, no um, went into places where the coronavirus uh, originated from. And it came from Australia, which is the bottom end of Australia. And the tourist vessels had done prior checks on their passengers before they went onto the ship and none of them had gone through China or had any um, connection with China. That's why I, I allowed that vessel to come into birth. The health minister says there were four reported cases in PNG who were believed to have symptoms of the virus but results were negative after numerous tests were done at laboratories in Goroka. I can tell you from the facts that I've got that no one has coronavirus in Papua New Guinea. But we are vigilant. NDOH, our people that we uh, combine with, NAC, New Guinea, immigration, we are being so vigilant that we are strict with our own people coming in and out of the country. The minister urged every Papua New Guinean not to believe social media posts and updates because once the virus is present in the country, the health department will be the first people to relay the message and give out precautions and warnings. There's a lot of information out there and there's a lot of false information that comes on social media. At this point of time, Papua New Guinea has no coronavirus. Michelle Steven, National and TV News.